Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little giraffe. He is what I consider a no so body so we are going to make the arms and the legs and then we're going to work on the head. As we go down we'll attach the arms, do the body, attach the legs, add the eyes and then close him up. And then we'll have to sew on the muzzle, the ears, the horns, and however many spots you want to put on, and if you want to embroider anything on the face. For this video, I will be using a number four yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and 14 millimeter safety eyes. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you, and I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, we're going to start with the legs and we're going to do four of them. The arms and the legs are exactly the same, except for the last row, we're going to add three extra stitches um, on the arm so they sit the right way on his body. So you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And I like to start with a knot with the loop on the end as if you're going to make a chain. And if you're starting this way, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. All that does is attach your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into that loop going over top of your tail. So one. two, three, four, five, six, and pull your tail if you need to close up that hole. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that is two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase. One and two. Increase. Three and four. Increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, and our last increase eleven and twelve. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, increase, oops, two and three, oh my goodness, four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, 
8 and 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, and our increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, 18, increase, 19 and 20. Twenty-one, twenty-two, and our last increase, 23 and 24. In the next row, we are going to be going in the front loops only. So if you've never done front loop, normally you go down and under both sides of that V. For front loop, you're going to come down and go up and just come through the front loop of the V because we need these back loops for the next row. So for row five, in the front loops only, we are going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. So just grab that front loop, one, oops, two, three, four, five, and then you should have a ridge starting on the back, and those are the stitches we'll be going in next. Six. Oops. Sometimes this is quick, sometimes it's not. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and our last one, 24. Now we're going to flip it so we can see those back loops that we just did. So now we're going to be going up this way. And for row six, we're going to be going in the back loops, 24 single crochets. So make sure you're getting in that first stitch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, let's see, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and you may have to dig down for that twenty-fourth stitch. Grab that twenty-four. Row seven, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And just make sure you're starting in the right stitch on this one. So you wanna be down nice and close. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven. And a decrease for 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Row eight, we are just gonna be doing 18 single crochets all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row nine, we are gonna do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One, decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, Decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for ten, eleven, and on our last decrease, we're going to change colors, so you're going to go in, grab your yarn, in, grab your yarn, and then you're going to keep those three loops on your hook and grab your new color for the body. 
And then you're just gonna tie your new color to your old color, nice and tight, close down to the hook two or three times. And then we'll cut that old color. Whoops. And then you're gonna grab your new color and slide it through those three loops to finish off that decrease and the end of your previous row. For rows 10 to 18, we're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's nine rows of 12. Nine times 12 is 108. So I'm going to count to 108 and then just flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flipping my marker, but keep on counting. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Look at my marker, but keep on counting. 33, 34, 35, 36, flip my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 
71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Flipping our marker. Keep on counting. We should have one row left. 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1, 2, whoops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Now, if you're doing the two legs, you will stop here. If you are doing the two arms, you're just going to do three more single crochets. One, two, three. And what that does is when you're doing the legs and they sit like this, you'll have this little bump on the bottom. And when you're doing the arms, they'll sit like this and you'll have the little bump in the back. All right, let's add some stuffing now. And what you're gonna wanna do is stuff the bottom kind of on the firmer side. So you want the bottom, very bottom, to be kind of flat, and then you're going to kind of push out on the sides to kind of round out the hoof a bit. And be careful not to stretch your stitches, because that can be done very easily, especially if you're using a dark color. And then once you're happy with the bottom, you're just going to put a small amount into the top. So it's kind of going to be so firm, squishy, and then none down here. So it kind of comes into a triangle so that it can bend around the body. Or when he's sitting, um, his tummy can kind of fit over here and he won't want to fall back. Now all four of them are going to close exactly the same. And you're going to go through the next stitch. And then you're going to go through the last stitch. So you're going through both sides under the V's and you're going to do five single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, and five. And make sure you're going through both sides so it'll look like this when you're done. And then you can cut that, um, leave a little bit of a tail, even though we're not sewing them on, I do do something with the ends that I think helps um, secure them a little bit. Now, if you have just finished your first one, I am going to put a screenshot over in the next frame with timestamps so you can go back and do the other three.
And if you have finished all four, then just keep on watching and we will continue on to the next part. All right, and now we'll start the head. And again, you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I am going to start with a knot with a loop on the end, as if I was going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. And remember that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are gonna do six single crochets into this loop over top of the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. Increase 11 and 12. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, and an increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, whoops, 23 and 24. Row five, we are gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, 
two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, increase, nineteen and twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, increase, 35 and 36. Row seven is going to be five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, and an increase, oops, 39, 40, 
and an increase, 41 and 42. Rows 8 to 16 are going to be 42 single crochets all the way around. That's nine rows, and I am going to use my row counter. So our next row, 42 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 8. And then another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, whoopsie, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 9. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, 9, 10, 11, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 10. Another row of 42 whoops, single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11, another row of 42 single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So that was row thirteen. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 14. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that's row 15. We should have one row left because we're going to 16. So another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 16. Row 17, we are going to be doing five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. And I'm going to be doing the invisible decreases, and I'll do the first one slowly and then continue regular speed. One, two, three, four, five, and then an invisible decrease. You'll grab the front loop, grab the front loop of the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. You'll have two loops and then grab your yarn and go through those two loops. And then continue on your pattern of five single crochet or five single crochets one decrease so that was six this is seven eight nine ten eleven and your decrease for twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, and invisible decrease for 18. 
So remember front loop to the next two stitches, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and your decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and your decrease for 30, Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and your decrease for thirty-six. Row eighteen, we are going to be doing eighteen invisible decreases all the way around for a total of eighteen. So decrease, one, decrease, two, decrease, three, decrease, four, decrease, five, Decrease six, decrease seven, decrease eight, decrease nine, decrease ten. Decrease 11, decrease 12, decrease 13, decrease 14, decrease 15, Decrease 16, decrease 17, and decrease 18. Row 19 to 23, we're just going to be doing 18 single crochets all the way around, and that's going to be five rows. If you want to make your neck a little bit longer, you can do it here by adding a few extra rows, um, but you may have to put something inside for a little stability so it doesn't flop over. I haven't had to do this personally, but over the years I have heard some little tips and tricks, um, glue sticks, wooden dowel, um, the little foam twisty hair curlers, or you can crochet a little tube and stuff it and stick it up inside. Just remember if you are doing any of that, think about who might be receiving this giraffe. Um, and if it's safe to use what you're using. Okay, so rows 19 to 23, 18 single crochets, and I am going to be using my row counter again. So our first row, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that was row 19. Another row of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that was row 20. Another row of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that was row 21. Another row of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So that was row 22. And one more row of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that was row 23. All right, we're gonna do the arms next. So grab your two arms. Make sure that you have the um, little divots on the bottom of your hoof here, kind of in the back or to the side. So how's that gonna be? And your um, strings will be coming towards you.
All right, so for row 24, we're gonna do two single crochets. We're gonna do five single crochets through the arm and the neck. We're gonna do four single crochets across the front. Then we're gonna do five single crochets through the arm and the neck. And then we're gonna have two single crochets at the end. And I will put that up staggered somehow across the top. So two single crochets, one, two. Then grab your first arm, maybe double check that it is um, the arm. So you should have the back of your little divot where your hoof is um, facing the back and you should have your strings facing the front. And we're gonna do five single crochets through the arm and through the next stitch of the body. So that's one through the, or the neck, arm, neck. That's two through the arm to the next stitch of the neck. That's three through the arm. The next stitch of the neck. That's four through the arm. And the next stitch of the neck. That's five. Now we're gonna do five single crochets across the front. Make sure you're going in the next stitch. Sometimes it's hard to tell. One, two, three, four. Now grab your other arm. Again, make sure you've got that little divot there facing the back of the giraffe and you have your string facing the front. And we're gonna do five single crochets through the arm and the next stitch of the neck. So one, through the arm and the neck. That's two, through the arm and the neck. That's three, through the arm and the neck. That's four through the arm and the neck. That's five. And then we should have two single crochets left to finish off that round. One, two. Row 25, we're gonna do two single crochets one increase, repeat that around for a total of 24, and make sure you leave these um, strings hanging on the outside and don't accidentally go over them. So one, two, and an increase, three and four. Five, six, and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase, 15 and 16. Seventeen, eighteen, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 
row 26, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Row 27, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight and an increase nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen and an increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 28, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and an increase. 29 and 30, 31, 32, 
33, 34, and an increase, 35, and 36. Rows 29 to 34 are just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around, and that's six rows, and I'm going to use the row counter again for that. So, 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 29. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, so that was row 30. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, so that was row 31. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, well, that was row 32, another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, so that was row 33. Uh, one more row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. And that was row thirty-four. Right. Row 35, we're going to do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. Or five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease, or ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease. Or fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. And a decrease for twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and a decrease for thirty. Row thirty six, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30, 24. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for four, five, six, Seven and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and a decrease for twenty-four. 
Um, now we're going to do some, we'll put some eyes in and line up his legs. Okay, so we want to fold this guy down nice and flat. Kind of using his arms as a guide for the center. going to count down to between rows 9 and 10. So we want to find our center loop. That's row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right between 9 and 10. And then kind of use the arms here for your center and go up. And I actually think I might have it in the center. I'm going to use a pin. Just have a look. If you think you're centered, grab your eye. And we are going to count over four um, holes from the pin. So I have my pin in a stitch, not in a hole. So I'm going to count the hole on this side. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go in that hole. And the same thing on the other side. The hole right beside my pin. One, two, three, four. Oh, and that's not a good eye. So I'm just going to put a different eye in there. And then have a look and see if you are happy with the placement. Make sure you're in the same row. And I'm about one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes in between my eyes. And then if you are happy with that, you can put the backs on. And then I'll just show you how to do the um, the legs, just in case you're not in the same spot as me down here. So if you feel like you've got it centered, you want to have 12 stitches across the um, top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that 12th stitch on this side is where you are going to start your first leg. And I'm just going to mark that just so you can watch. It should be eight stitches here and then a leg, but sometimes it could be one or two stitches off. All right, so let's get our hook back in there. So for row 37, we're going to do eight single crochets. Then we're going to do five single crochets through the leg and the body, two single crochets in the middle, five single crochets through the leg and body on this side. And then we should have four single crochets left if we're all in the same spot. And I will put that up across the top again. So we'll start with our eight single crochets one two three four five six seven eight and that puts us right where we need to be yeah so grab your leg 
And if yours is off by a stitch, that's okay. Just go to wherever you marked. You'll just have a different number at the very end after we have the legs on. So you'll grab your leg and you wanna have the little divot in your leg towards you and the front of his foot facing his body. So again, if we're the same, you're gonna have the string over on this side. And we're gonna go five single crochets across through the leg and the next stitch on the body. So one, through the leg and the body, two, this is just like we did the arms, through the leg and the body, three, through the leg and the next stitch of the body, four, through the leg and the next stitch of the body. Five. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in between the legs. One, two. Now grab your other leg. And again, make sure that little divot where we change from front loop to back loop is pointing you and the front of the foot is pointing the body and we're going to do five single crochets across through the leg and the next stitch of the body sorry I wish I could show you this better one through the leg through the next stitch of the body Two, through the leg and the next stitch of the body. <laughs> Three, through the leg and the next stitch of the body. Four, and the last one through the leg and the next stitch of the body. Five. And then we should have four single crochets left unless you had to adjust on the other side where you started. One, two, three, four. Uh, because we're going to decrease, we only have three rows left. Um, usually I do one more row before I stuff, but with this neck we might need some room. So let's stuff him up now. So we can reach down into his neck and into his head. So you're just going to stuff up into his head and you want that to be really nice and firm. I'm just doing little bits at a time so I don't stretch his neck. And you're going to think you have lots in there and then you're still going to need to put more in. everywhere here. Watch when you're doing that that you're pushing out to the sides a bit and not stretching these stitches right where the head joins the neck. For me that's the worst part. Um, as far as overstuffing. So let's see. That might be good. I don't think it's, oh yeah, it's as firm as my other one. 
so it's fairly firm. Um, I am starting to misshape the head and neck here, so I'm not going to put any more in. I'm going to start doing the neck. This is where you got to be really careful. You want it to hold up the head, but you don't want to stretch them stitches. I think that's good. And now I'm just going to lightly stuff the body. Um, we have lots of we can put more in as we go. So for now I'm going to do that. And then get my hook back in there. And I forgot to put the leg strings in. So since I didn't tell you guys, you probably forgot too. I might just do that first so they're out of our way. So I'm just going to put them under the stitch. The last stitch that I um, used to join the two together on each side here. If you do this a second time, when you finish the leg, just flip this on the inside before you do your next stitch and then you won't have to do this part. And then I'm just going to lightly tie those and cut them off. Slowly tighten as you go. You don't want that to be too tight. There we go. Now we can insert our hook back in. And for row 38, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven. Eight. And a decrease for nine. Ten. 11 and a decrease for 12 13 14 and a decrease for 15 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Row 39, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one single crochet, decrease for two. Whoop, don't want that stuffing. Three single crochet and a decrease for four, five, 
decrease for six. Seven, decrease for eight. Nine, decrease for ten. Eleven, and decrease for twelve. Now we have one more row left, so if you need to add stuffing, still do that now. And I do need to add a little bit. Um, remember, you want the bottom to be sort of on the flatter side. So when you're putting your last bit of stuffing in, make sure you're pushing it to the sides and maybe a little bit to the back so that he has a little bit more um stability back there so he doesn't want to fall over all right that's enough for me so for row 40 we are going to do six decreases and if you were doing invisible decreases you may not need to do um, any or you may only need to do a couple but I got to do all six. One, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, Five decreases. And six decreases. And then however many you've done, after you're finished, you're going to do one slip stitch. And then you're going to tie that off, leaving yourself a bit of a tail for closing up the bottom. So grab your darning needle. I'm going to get rid of this my stitch marker. Thread my darning needle on. And we're just going to weave in and out. Oopsie. Oh, that still works. In and out, the top stitch of the last row. And then once you're to the end, you're just going to give that a pull to close that up. And then tie it somewhere close to where the center is. And then you're just going to thread that up and out somewhere out the back. And then we might as well do these arm strings while we're at it, get them out of our way. So you're going to thread one side. And then you're just going to insert it right in your last stitch where you joined your arm to your neck. And then come out the center of the neck somewhere. in the back. And then do that for the other side. So just in that last stitch, 
where you join the arm and the neck. And then this time you're going to come out the same stitch that you took the other arm string out. I'm going to give them one tie. Keep track of the ends of your arm, or yarn, sorry. Twist him around. Then you're going to pull on those ends and bring those arms in. However far you feel you need to. And then you're going to secure them in the back. Rethread them and hide them inside and out. So you just go in that same hole you came out and then down out the bottom somewhere. Trim those ends. And now we're ready to start making him look a lot more like a little giraffe. All right, we're going to be doing the muzzle next and I'm doing mine in white. And this time you will have to do the knot with the loop on the end because we will be chaining. So insert your hook and we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to be going in the second chain from the hook. So the loop on your hook does not count. This is your first chain. This is your second chain. And that's where we'll be going in. And we're going to be doing five single crochets. The first one is what I'm going to consider an end stitch. The next four I'm going to consider the middle stitches. So two, three, four, five. And then this is our other end stitch and we are going to be putting three single crochets into this stitch and pivoting around so we end up on the other side of our chain. So one in the end, turn a bit, two in the end, and turn all the way in the end and that gets us to the other side of the chain and now we're going to do um, our four single crochets across the middle so one two three four and then in our other end here we are going to do two single crochets or one increase so one and two in the same stitch. So we should have something that looks like this. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And then over in this next stitch, the first one of our um, row one, we are going to do one increase in this end stitch. So one and two in the same stitch. Then we're going to do four across the middle. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to be doing the ends here and we're going to do three increases across the next three stitches. So increase once, increase twice, and you're turning as you go and increase three times. 
Now we're going to do our four single crochets across the middle. One, two, three, four, and now we're going to do two increases on these end stitches. So one increase. and a second increase. And now you should have something that looks like this. And now for rows three, four, and five, we are just gonna do 20 single crochets around, and I'm gonna do those consecutively. So that's three rows, and three times 20 is 60. So I'm gonna do 60 and then flip my marker every time I hit a set of 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Flipping my marker, keep on counting and make sure it's curving away from you. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, I'm going to keep on counting, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And then we're just going to slip stitch in that next stitch and tie off and leave enough of a tail to sew this on. All right, we're gonna do the horn now. And again, you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be doing the knot with the loop on the end. We will be going in the round this time. So I'm gonna grab my yarn 
chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. I am just attaching the yarn to the loop. And for row one, we are gonna do six single crochets into the loop over top of the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then pull that tail if you need to. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that around for a total of nine. So one, Increase two and three, four, increase five and six, seven, and our last increase eight and nine. Rows three and four, we're just gonna do nine single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and then another row of nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. And when we get to this ninth one, don't finish off that single crochet because now we're going to change um, to our other color. So grab your other color and you're just going to tie that on nice and tight to the hook a couple of times. So the old color and the new color two or three times. And then you can cut your old color. Make sure you cut the right one. And then you're just going to grab that new color, pull it through your last stitch to finish off that single crochet. For row five, we are gonna do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of six. I got my tails all in the way here. So one, decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six. And row six to eight are just gonna be six single crochets all the way around. 
and we can do those consecutively. So that's three rows of six, which is a total of 18 single crochets. And then I'll just flip my marker when I hit a set of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, flipping my marker, but I'm keep on counting, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Flipping my marker, keep on counting. Ah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then you're just going to slip stitch and tie that off. Oops, I'm through more than just one stitch there. Slip stitch and tie off. And again, leave enough of a tail to sew that on. And then we're just going to put a little bit of stuffing in there. So I'm going to... Um, just take a small amount, divide it in two, and I'm going to put one side up in the top and then the other side um, in the bottom side. If you find this tricky, grab your scissors and try that. They seem to do a great job. So I got the top quite firm and then now I'm also going to do the same thing in the bottom half and you want to make sure it's fairly firm on the very end because when you go to sew it on you don't want it to kind of collapse in on you so you want your stuffing to be right to the edge here oops Just like that, so that your stitches will stay on the rounder side when you're sewing it on. Alright, so if you've just finished your first horn, I will be putting a screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp. So you can go back and do the second one. And if you're done the second one, just keep on watching and we will continue on to the next part. All right, now we are going to do the ear. And again, you can start however you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. We'll be going in the round again. So I'll, for my way, I'll be inserting my hook, grabbing my yarn, chaining one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch, that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop over our tail one two three four five Six, and then pull your tail if you need to to close that hole. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we are going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of nine. So one, increase, two and three, four, increase, five and six, 
seven. And our last increase, eight and nine. Row three, we are gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One, two, and an increase, three and four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. Row four, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of fifteen. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. Rows five and six are just gonna be 15 single crochets all the way around. So again, I'm gonna do those consecutively. Two rows of 15 is 30, and then I've just flipped my marker when I hit my first set of 15. One, whoop. Well, that's a mess. I just do that whole thing again. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, flip my marker, keep on counting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Row seven, we're gonna do three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, two, three, and a decrease, oopsie, for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Row eight, we're gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of nine. So one, two, decrease for three, four, 
five, decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. I'm going to take my stitch marker out and now we're going to close that up and we're going to put four single crochets across. So one in the next stitch into the back side of the last stitch. So that's one single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets, and four in the end. Then you're just gonna tie off and leave enough yarn um, for sewing that on. All right, so if you have your first ear done, I will leave a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do your second one. And if you're done your second one, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. All right, now we're going to do the tail and we're going to leave a bit of a tail for tying it to um, the back of the giraffe. Make your knot with the loop on the end. We're going to be chaining. So insert your hook and we are going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we're going to do ten slip stitches down the chain. So starting in the second chain from the hook, one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten in that last one. Then you're going to tie that off and again, leave some tail for tying that to the back. And then to make the little hairs, um, I'm just going to go around my hand about four times. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to cut that on the bottom. And then I am also going to cut that down in the center where my bottom would have been. And then we got a couple little pieces. I don't know, maybe four or five inches long. And we're going to insert our hook in the end of the tail. Try and get under a couple stitches if you can. And then we're just going to fold that over the hook fairly even and pull that through. And then we're going to pull all the ends through this loop that we made. So I'm going to use my fingers because I think that'll work a little better than grabbing it with my hook. And I'm just going to grab them, pull them through that loop and then pull them tight and it helps to pull them individually to kind of tighten up that um, loop you have around your tail. Whoops. And then if you want to, you can pick a length and then just Give that a trim so they're all the same size. Whoopsie. 
And then for the spots, I just made um, circles in different sizes. So I'm just going to make the small one. So you're going to make your knot with the loop on the end or however you prefer to start. And then all you're going to do is put single crochets in the round, like how we started just about every other piece. So for the small one, I did six single crochets. So one. two, three, four, five, six, and then just slip stitch in the end to join it. And if you want to make them bigger, my second one, I did eight single crochets. My third one, I did 10 single crochets. And you can go um, as high as you want. Um, you can do, um, once you get to your first round, you can do a second row of 12. Um, you could even alternate that second row with half double crochets or um, double crochets just make sure you're putting two stitches in every stitch so it'll stay flat and then I also trimmed my tail on the back so it wasn't in my way when I was sewing it down and I made um, six of these two small two medium two large but you of course can make as many or as little as you want I will leave you to do that part on your own and I will start showing you how to pin and sew on all the parts. So I'm going to start with the muzzle. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. And you want to get a little bit of stuffing. Just enough to kind of fill out the um, inside. And I always put it this way with my string on this side. And what you're going to do, oh, that won't work, is you're going to line it up um, about right here where the bottom of your eyes are sitting, assuming you're using the same size of eyes as me. So I'm one, this is the row we put our eyes in. I'm one row down from that kind of center it make sure this where you chained make sure that's nice and straight because we're going to put our mouth on top of that then we're just going to start pinning and I like to put my first pin in the top center and then when it comes to the bottom I just kind of put my pin wherever it rests naturally So I'm kind of, looks like I'm kind of between the last two decrease rows there. That's our 18 decrease row right there. Always double check that you're staying kind of centered. Then we'll put some on the side. And I'm bringing that just kind of even with the back side of the eye, not quite all the way. Then you're going to match the other side. Check that it's even. Then I'm going to pull kind of the top side up to match this line we're pinning on when we started. Same thing on the other side. And then if you're happy with the shape you have, you can just start pinning around. Notice I'm holding the center of the nose nice and tight so it stays where I have it. And always keep checking. I think this one might be a little 
I'm going to make that a little bit straighter. And maybe a couple more here. So you're going for a bit of an oblong shape. straight on top okay and grab your darning needle and then we're just going to start by going underneath our first where we tied off we want to go right underneath this the stitch of the nose and around a row and then up. And then we want to catch the next stitch. So this was our knot, so I want to go right there. And then we go down the next stitch, around a row and over, and make sure you're staying underneath your the white part of your nose because you don't want these white stitches to show through so we came down this stitch we're going to go up the next stitch and if you pinned it pretty good you shouldn't have to worry about it moving around when you're digging around underneath So I'm just going to continue like that all the way around, up and down each stitch. Make sure you're catching a piece of the bottom and staying underneath. Oopies. Do double check that it's staying straight. That one was a little bit outside where I should have had it, but it will still work. This one I was able to go right in the next stitch. When you get to the straight part, sometimes you can cheat a little bit and go right into the next stitch. Let's try it on this one. Just make sure you're not pulling your nose around too much. That's where you will lose your... Um, that's where you start going crooked is if you're pulling it too much trying to do it this way. Now we're almost at the end. If you need to add a little bit of stuffing here, now is when you'll want to do it. I think mine's okay enough. Okay, I'm back to where my tie-off knot is. So I am going to go up, past the knot, down, and backwards, just to keep that a little bit smoother. 
and then you want to find a stitch underneath. So I'm going to grab this one. It's one of the stitches I first started. And then I'm going to tie my knot. And then go back down under and bring that out the back. You want to give it a good pull to hide that knot. Cut that off. And then just kind of pull that back out to shape it. Oh, I got a little crooked there when I did, when I cheated. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try and do the mouth and nose as one long piece of thread. So you're gonna wanna kind of find your first row where you went around the chain. And on the outside of that row, that's where one side of our mouth will be. And then on the outside of that row, that's where the other side of our mouth will be. All right, so let's thread our yarn. And we're gonna be only using half of what we have. I have about an arm's length. And I'm gonna go in where this first pin is. And I'm gonna come up and make the nostril. So. The back side of my thread is going to go this way, and then I'm going to make the nostril with the other side. So just make sure you have enough on both sides. And I'm just going to take that on an angle, one stitch over, and I'm just going to go around and around this row to make the nostril. Um, probably three or four times. Let's just have a peek here. Don't pull it too tight. Um, I'm going to do one more time. And then I'm just going to come out here. And uh, just leave that there for now. And then I'm going to thread my other end where we started, right here. And I'm going to mirror what we just did on the other side. So we're going to come in where we've had our pin there. So that's the edge of our mouth. And we're going to come kind of up and over one stitch. So just like that. And now we'll be making the second nostril and make sure you pull this line a little on the tight side. And now we're going to go again a bit on an angle. Yep, I think so. Just kind of have a look. I think we, I don't know how even it's going to turn out, but let's try it. So however many times you went around for the first nostril, you're going to go for this one. And I think I went four times. So this is three. And then going back in again will be four. And you're going to bring that out where you brought the end of your last one out. Get the right twist, so right there. And then you're going to loosely tie this because you don't want to pull your nostrils. So a loose tie, then a little bit tighter. And then we're going to take that in the mouth and out the back of the head. So 
So right back in where he came out. And then out the back side of the head somewhere. And again, be careful not to pull too tight. You want to bring that knot in, but you don't want to... Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, you don't want to tighten these nostrils. If you did, you can go underneath and just kind of pick them up again and shape them a bit. And then you'll cut off that piece. So now we're going to do the horns. We want to kind of see the top. We're going to base them around this first loop that we made. So grab one horn. And you're going to want to line up um, the end with your string in between rows two and three. So this is your loop. That, uh, let me get something. Okay, so this is your loop. This is between one and two. This is between two and three. So you want two rows and then you're going to be pinning your horn right there. And you want to make sure it's nice and centered on your head. And you want to go over about two rows. So I'm going to put the bottom side in that two rows over and then I'm going to pin all the way around. I'm just going to secure these a little better because they're not in there. That one's okay. This one may be. You want to make sure you're pulling your horn out so it's not like pinched or it will be floppy. You want it to be that whole six single crochets wide. Then you're going to thread your needle. You're going to go exactly the same way as you did when you did the, um, the muzzle. So I'm going to go down in that row between two and three. Come up my next stitch. Go down the next stitch. Sorry, this is really hard to keep in the camera here. And you're gonna go up your next stitch. Make sure you're getting through both um, of the stitches as you're going around. So through the next one, now be careful you're not going too far down. So I'm staying in those two rows that I have it pinned on. I came down this one, so up this one. Next one. And I'm still staying underneath the horn with my stitches, even though it's the same color. And we're getting back to the beginning here. So I'm going to go down 
around a little bit past where I started. And then I'm going to go back up and catch that very first stitch I made. And then I'm going to come back down and catch a stitch over here somewhere to tie it in the back. So this stitch right here, I'm going to tie onto that one. You don't have to be on the same one, just whatever one you can find that's close to where your yarn came out. And then I'm going to go in right where I tied that knot and just kind of out the back center, right close to the top somewhere. Because we'll tie this string to our other horn string. All right, so grab your second one. And now this is where this one's more important than the first one because the first one doesn't truly matter too much if you're off a bit but with this second one you want to make sure they're even so kind of place it where you're supposed to in that second and third row make sure this time that you're even this way with this one so I'm just eyeballing it from here they're about the same height up. And then you're just going to start pinning around. Make sure you're two rows across. Where's the second loop there? Um, I kind of double check this way too. See where the arms naturally come out. Are they fairly even? Seem to be. Because we are going to use this part of the horn to position our ears. So we want to make sure they're in the right spot. I feel like I need another pin somewhere. Maybe right here. Double check before you commit to sewing them on. It's a lot easier to move them once they're only pinned than once you have them sewn down. So we went this way, right, with the other one. So I want to make sure I want to go to the front on this one. So I'm just going down and around. Just like I did the other one. Oh, my poor giraffe's just getting squished everywhere here. Come back up the next stitch. Down the next one. Make sure you're catching a row. Up the next one. How many stick rows am I going? Okay, I gotta be careful not to go down three rows here or I will mess up my ear placement. Back up the next one. And it is sometimes hard to tell, so just take your time. Around the next one. We're getting close to where we started again. Oops. Okay. 
Oops. Oh, did it come down that one? No. So I'm going to come up this one. And this is where my tie-off knot is. So I'm going to go around that and then backwards. And then again, find a stitch you can tie off on. Is that one? No, there's one right there. So I'm not tying off on a stitch of the body. I'm tying off on a stitch uh, that I made when I sewed around. All right, so make your knot. I don't know what I just did there. Don't do what I just did. Come on. Because I, I have a heck of a mess all of a sudden. Okay. That was the weirdest knot tying I've ever done in my life. All right. And then you'll come out with that string where you took the other string out. Tie those. I don't think there's any point in tying them, like squishing them together, but if you feel like you want to do that, look at the other side while you do that. See, mine are standing pretty good and tight. And then you're just going to string them out the back somewhere. them off. Now grab your ears and we'll pin them on too. Oops, you don't want to stand up. So I'm taking the end with my string again and we'll be at the top. And we're going to pin it one row down from the horns. And then we want the other side of our ear to be four rows from where we start. So if we're pinned here, can you see that? So we're pinned on this row. That'll be one stitch, two stitch, three stitch, four stitches. And our ear will end right there. So we want to pin that. Make sure you're pinning it straight from the horn towards the arm. So it's going to look like this. No, oh, I can't reach. <laughs> All right, so let's thread that thread on. And this one is fairly easy to do. We're just going to come around that next row down from the horn. We're going to go in our first single crochet of our ear. So we're basically going around um, each kind of stitch in the row. Then we're going to go down one row and around a stitch. And through our next single crochet in our ear. I'm making it look way harder than it is for some reason. Then we're going to go down the next row around a stitch. And 
and through our third stitch of our ear. And then we're going to go in this fourth time in the next row around a stitch in our last single crochet of our ear. And then um, I think I'm going to go around one more time just to secure that before I tie it. And then you can just tie it in the back somewhere, catching a st stitch close to your ear. And then go back in that same hole and out the back, even with your ears. And then we'll do that for the second ear. This guy doesn't want to sit for me. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to pin it one row down from the horn. And the end will be four rows down from where we start. So one, two, three, four. So we want to pin that in that fourth row. And just kind of eyeball it that they're back about the same amount. And then if you're happy with how they're sitting, thread your yarn on your needle. And you're going to go around that first, that first row. Through that first single crochet of the ear. Down a row. Around a stump. That's not a good one. There we go. Around that next stitch in the stitch of the ear. Down one more row. Through the next stitch of the ear. And then in the last row here. <laughs> Do that better left-handed. And then remember I went around twice on the bottom of the last ear, so I'm just going to go twice on this ear again. And then find a stitch to tie into. Right there is good for me. Make your knot. And then you're going to come down and out where you brought your other string. Now I did pull the ears in on my other giraffe, so I think we'll do that again this time. So you're going to do it just like we did the arms. You're going to tie it once. Keep track of the ends of your string by wrapping them around. And then I'm going to pull my ears in just to kind of give them a bit of a, a bit of a shape of a bit of a, I don't know, not triangle head, but kind of gives them cheeks. And then tie that when you're happy with it. And then we will put those out the other side. Uh, let's 
tail in now since we have him facing this way. So I'm just going to decide what side I want up. And I want this side um, to be at the top. So you're going to grab one of your strings and go up, I don't know, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight-ish rows. And I'm going just a stitch or so over from center and out one row down and then I'm going to take the other side of my tail and do the same thing but I'm going to be going a row or two or a stitch or two over so I'm going to go two over so I'm right there with my other one one two and then come out one row down where my other string is. And then I'm just going to tie that fairly tight. I know you can't really see what I'm doing. And then we'll thread that back in and out. So the same hole you tied your knot at. All right, let's give this guy some eyebrows now. So I'm going to be doing that the same way I did the mouth and nostrils. I'm going to work on one side. And then I'm going to go to the other end of my yarn and work on the other side. So I'm going to start by deciding where I want the front of my eyebrow to be. And I'm just going kind of one row above the inside of my eye. And then I'll match that on this side. So I'm one row above and just close to the inside of my eye. And I only want to take half my thread through because I'll need the other half to do the other eyebrow. And then I'm just going to kind of play with it and see where I want them to go. And I think I'm going to go one, two, or three stitches back. Let's do three. So I'm one row down and one, two, three stitches over from the end of my eye. And I decided to do twice. So once, go in again, and then come out somewhere around the center between your eyebrows. Then you're going to thread the other side of your string. And now, you're going to have to match up what you did on that side. So I went down one row and one, two, three. Hopefully that's not too far. I always tend to have crooked, eye, like mismatched eyebrows, one longer than the other. So I go around, whoops, the second time you go around, you want to come out here in the center. And hopefully they're fairly even. I'm stacked funny. Maybe that one's a little longer. And then you're just going to tie that and put it out the back. Um, 
just about done. I got um I just got the spots left to sew on. I don't know. Do you need me? Okay, one sec. And then just give that a cut. <laughs> and then if you want to give him a couple little um, <coughs> tufts of hair like this guy. All I did was go in the center and around that first row. And these are just some extra hairs that, from when I did a lion, but you can do it just like when I showed how you did the little ha tail hairs. And you're just going to go in. Then you're going to grab that, um, the end, and pull it through the loop you made. And then I did it two times. I'll pull it through. And then pull the ends through the loop. And then tighten them up a bit. And um, I'm just doing the two, so I'm going to trim mine now, but it would really look cute maybe if you made them like little bangs or if you went all the way down the back in a line because they do have a little mane. And then there's just the spot. So what I did was I did the, a little one, a medium one, a large one, a little one a medium one, a large one. Um, I probably don't need to show you how I sewed them on. I'll just do a quick pin um, because I did not put them on so they're round. I didn't put them on so that they were round. So what I did was I pinned the one side, good. And then when I pinned the bottom, I just kind of pulled it just to make it kind of an odd shape, like an oval kind of shape. And then you'll just sew those on, just like you did everything else, the muzzle and the horn. Um, so I think I'm just gonna... Oh, and for the ears on this guy, they're kind of shaped funny. All I did was pinch, I held the corners and I just kind of pinched down, pinched them down like this, just to give them a bit of a, a shape. Okay, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or any of my others, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And any likes, shares, or comments are also always appreciated. And as always, take care. Be safe and happy crocheting.